Hello, friends. Welcome back to more Tell Me Why. Oh. Oh, oh my God. I fell asleep the second I hit the couch. You Guys, rally. last time was so... Oh, my bed. gosh. Uh, do we have to? <laughs> hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Oh! What? Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. N oh, my God. What? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is, is that the mad hunter? Tyler, are you all right? <gasps> Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. Oh my freaking god. That scared the Jesus out of me. Oh, coffee, give me strength. I cannot. Oh my god. What happened? <gasps> there there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. Whoa. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight and and he was all in black. Okay, so it was a guy? Why would someone try to burn down our barn? There's gotta be something in here. I don't know. I'm going to find out. There's got to be something in here that we don't know about. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Did he Let's really have to smash everything? Oh my god. I might have found something. Okay, but I want to look around at everything else first. He went looking under the rug? Oh my god. Uh... So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? taught myself. Ah, there we go. Well, at least he left us the junker. Yeah, that's kind. No, it's not. Okay, um, okay, so I looked at the, the fire extinguisher, I looked at the smashed bits, I looked at the car. God, he really turned this place upside down. Yeah, what was he looking for? I mean, I assume he was looking for something. Okay, let's look at the, I haven't looked at the gas, have this I? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't okay. bring it with him. Let's see. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Okay, wow. Oh, ooh. Hey, come take a look at this. At least you were spared. Who is it? Who is it? The moon hag. Okay, I still I still haven't read the moon hag stuff. Um, or the big frog or the muskrat, um, which I need to go ahead and do. Oh my God. <clears throat> I see you looking at that thing. Okay, what? Examine. Is that a box under the barn? Oh! Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? Okay. We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? In the barn? <laughs> Somewhere in here? Somewhere in here, I bet it will be this. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is early, by the way, guys. This is morning time. I guess we know how he made the whole morning time with my coffee. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's open up this hole, shall we? All right. Oh my god, I'm like so... Step back. I'll be fine. But like seriously step back because he doesn't want to worry about hitting you. <laughs> You're like right over his shoulder. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. I'm like... Oh man. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I want to find out more things. <gasps> well, what? I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Marianne. Let's open it. Oh my god, okay. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Oh, oh, we're supposed to look in the Book of Goblins. Yep, yep, I remember this. Wait, I remembered. Look, it's the same symbol. 
Because we looked at this story well, story earlier, we didn't, didn't we? Find any numbers? Um, I think I remember we read this one because I wanted to read all of the stories about the goblins. Um, oh my god, I'm trying to remember. Wait, I don't think I actually read it. I don't. I can't remember now. Um. What's that in the corner? Bottom left. It sticks out. I, I, maybe it's just a tree. I don't know. Never mind. Um, let's see. Once upon a time in the deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblin spied on the secret keeper. She made her rounds, gathering up the secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How, said the first goblin, does she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second. And so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the stalwart moose came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault. I chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into the stalwart moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose, for the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. The voice! After a few minutes, the stalwart moose blinked. I feel lighter, said Moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The stalwart moose nodded and plodded along down the trail. He spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently, and the moose was forced to carry on because they were not doing anything obviously bad. I'm... Guys, I literally turned this page, and the very first thing I'm, like, slapped in the face with is there's an obvious, like, three down there at the bottom and a zero or an O or just a circle. But anyway, the three looks really suspicious down there at the bottom and then the zero over there. So would that be one, three, zero? I'm going to keep reading the story just in case there's something in here. Um, I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow away Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? Asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver-handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess, and the secret keeper nodded. And that is how the goblins came to know that the Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. Oh no, Eddie, I'm so sorry. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more. So the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into the misty sky. They reached out and they just managed to dip their hands into the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories and they snatched their hands back out as if they had just thrust them in a boiling water. Tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, seethed the secret keeper. Give them back. The crafty goblins stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange, they asked. I will give you back the silver-handled hairbrush, offered the secret keeper. For so many p secrets? Pshaw! You'll have to offer more than that. What if, said the secret keeper, I shared the gift of voice. The crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret keeper shared the gift of voice with the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. The crafty goblins gave back the secrets they had taken and ran back to the big wooden house. There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was a blank. They tried to speak to her using only their minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins for she had only shared enough of the power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other and not with the whole of the forest. And that is how the goblins stole the gift of voice from the Seeker Keeper, but why they could only use it with each other. That's very interesting, but I don't... I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to file that away in case I need that later. In the meantime, I do see a one, a three, and a zero, so I'm hoping that this lock... Three digits. Any there ideas? we go. Mm. Marianne was never really in numbers uh, kind of Unless person. she is hiding them in a story. But how interesting that she knew that they had the gift of voice. 
that is very, very fascinating to me. Okay. I'm going to hope it's in this order and that I don't have to just try different orders or that I'm not missing That's something. Easy. There we go. See, who's a smarty? I'm a smarty. <laughs> okay, wait. Now I'm back to wondering. Okay, it is letters. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay. I she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Delos Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right. We both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same, heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Uh, okay. Is this Sam? Because I know Tessa was talking about how Sam and his wife aren't together anymore, but I don't think that makes sense. I don't... Fuck. That's M rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation, but I know you this, feel... This guy tried to push Marianne to get in Oh my she... god, are you kidding me? Even though she wanted to keep us. I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday, but right now we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Oh my god. I... Oh man. I don't know, guys. What the hell? I don't know, guys. So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. <sighs> he came for these letters. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Yeah. Oh my god, like I feel unsafe right now. I feel unsafe in our own house. Oh. There was a memory. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god. Where'd you go? What's this? Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? <gasps> okay, wait. <laughs> Allison! Oh, where'd he go? I'm so confused. Do I need to go over here? It seems to be leading me back that way. Is it just wanting me to watch that over and over? Is it trying to lead me? It's gotta be trying to lead me. Unless there's something inside the barn that I missed. Let me double check. What a mess. Yeah, it's still outside. I think I figured out how it's trying to lead me places via the... Okay, I, I hear you. I hear you, Ella. I, I hear you. I hear you. A work boot. Oh my god. Okay. Let's keep following these tracks. Okay, okay, look. Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. The trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. That must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. But, like, I want to go follow. Is 
Is there anything over here? I haven't really gotten to do, hey, do much in this doing? area. I don't know. I don't know, Allison. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Did you see a car anywhere on the way home? Nope. He must have gone off road. I guess it makes sense why he was able to get in and out so fast. Yeah. He must have been out here visiting Marianne. He really didn't want us to figure out who he was. Well, he's been avoiding us for 20 years. Unless so. he's not been avoiding us for 20 years and he's been around. Unless it's Sam. Did you see a car anywhere? I don't know, though. Home? I... Nope. He must have gone off-road. I guess it makes sense why he was able to get in and out so fast. Okay. Yeah. No hesitation. He knew where he was going. Okay. Out of all the ways he could have said hello. Okay, so this is just gonna keep showing me this. Okay, it's just showing me the same memory over and over. Maybe there's something else over here that I'm missing? No? Okay, it's just showing me that same memory over and over. What if I go inside? Okay, let's try that. Let's see. Do you remember anything about his face? I couldn't oh. see it. He had a hood on. Nothing. Okay. Just like we left it. Is it locked? Okay. Well, then I'm not sure what I need to be looking for. Okay. This is still just going to show me Alice and Allison. Okay. Well, let's just keep looking around the house, shall we? He didn't try to get in here. Okay. Nothing's been forced open. So he didn't try to get into the house at all. That's good to know. I'm just gonna keep walking around. So? Still no sign of him. Can't get in? Okay, good and locked. Okay. Honestly though, can you imagine living here and like having this gorgeous view every day? Like, Waking up, cup, cup of coffee, beautiful mountain. Oh my god, okay. Sorry, I'm like looking around. I'm trying to see if I can find anything. Is there anything I can look at over here? Hurting? Nah, worst case, I've huh. got a nasty bruise. I'm a little bit... I'm definitely confused. I definitely don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well... It's still trying to show me this one memory. There must be something I'm missing. <laughs> Allison! Allison! <laughs> oh! I finally got all the way through it. About you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. Oh my god, somehow. Thing, but something felt different. <gasps> I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. Come on. All right. Let's go. There's got to be more. Oh my god, guys, I'm so nervous. This is where I trip. Okay, I finally figured it out. I'm so sorry that took me so long. Oh, I'm at Hunter. Wait. There was someone here that night in the woods? No. It was just, I, I saw, who the hell did I actually see? Yeah. Cause you must have actually seen someone. Okay. Okay, where is it? Oh, there. There was someone. <gasps> what? No. That... That it, was the Mad Hunter. It was their dad. What? what are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just 
fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think <gasps> it was the same guy? Maybe. I, I mean, don't think she was chasing you with the him, shotgun. Right? I don't they think were wearing she... the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. <laughs> and wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? Oh my God, wait. A few days before Marianne died? In the house, Hold in on. the house, remember? Do you feel that? It was in the house. Can I look inside and find the memory? No. Should I go down here? Yep, I can feel it buzzing. I can feel it buzzing. Where is it? There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. Allison. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've oh got my to be God. close to something. I'm not going on that dock. <gasps> just... Oh my God. Be nice, be nice, just... Just one more time. Just one more time. Please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. Come on, we're what so if this close. This is the only chance to figure out who our father is. Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? <gasps> no. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? what? How? How? How can you say that Wait, to me? what? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear, I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? <gasps> I, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? I'll do it. Yes! Oh my god. I'm so nervous. I am... Okay. We can do it. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, she doesn't want to. She's not in... Come on, it's not the right. It's. Can you oh. hear what they're saying? Quiet. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. Come on, come on. I told you. I told you that would happen. We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try okay, come on. on. Him. All right. Focus don't on the guy. Anything else? I'll try. The guy. The guy. We got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. We got this, Allison. We got this, Allison. We can do it. Together, we can do it. Come on. So you're here to make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut? I don't owe you anything. You've <gasps> been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. Oh my god. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. <gasps> we were so damn close. Oh my god. Please be kind, Allison. Allison. I'm sorry. 
But I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only gonna get worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my heart. Oh my heart! Oh my gosh. Ouch! Watch it! I'm <gasps> stepping on my foot! Okay. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. Don't want oh my gosh, here we go. Oh my gosh, here we go. Coffee, give me strength. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? <sighs> Who's that voice? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property! Now! Oh my god, if no wonder. ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? Oh my god. Oh my god. I fuck no. I knew it. No, no. I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Oh, we are at the end of another... Another chapter. Oh my god, you guys. My god. Give me a second. Oh my goodness! Okay, I recognize that voice. I think. I think I recognize that voice, which means that it is someone we know. It's definitely not Sam. Because Sam was in and out, and she was saying that if he ever comes back, she'll kill him. It's someone who fishes. Um, he was on a boat. Who do we know who fishes? Oh my! Ha oh my God! I have a I have a theory. Oh my God! I hope this isn't true. Oh my God! I hope this isn't true. I have a I have a random theory right now that maybe it's that guy that I saw on the ferry, and then I saw him again in the store. I really hope it's not him, because I do not like him. I mean, actually, that would make sense, because I don't like him. Oh, man. But like, I, I knew it. I knew it. She wasn't trying to hurt Tyler. She was trying to protect the kids from the, the dad. And, in addition to that, she wasn't even trying to just protect the kids from the dad. She was trying to strike back in this very, very bad emotional mental state that she's in. She's all alone. She's got no one to help her. And now, social services has been called on her. She's not using the shotgun to threaten the kids. She's using the shotgun to try to keep the dad away because he's trying to come in and take these kids away from her. Oh my God, guys. Poor Marianne. Oh my God. And I'm sure she was trying to be as honest as she could. Like the, the tough thing is, is that these kids are young. I'm not 100% exactly how old they are. But I, I also know that adults have a hard time figuring out how to be honest with kids. Like, um, I say this as a, an actual adult myself now. Um, 
weird. Um, but like, uh, it is really easy to look at a 12 year old and not be sure, I'm not sure how old they are. I can't remember, but like theoretically, it is hard, hard to know how honest you can be with a 12 year old. How honest can you be with a 10 year old? How honest can you be with an eight year old? Um, I, I can do the math. I, I need to look up how old they are because I can't remember. Um, but like, I'm sure these fairy tales are her way of trying to be honest with these kids about the, the difficulty that she's going through. Like she's trying to figure out a good way to um, express that without scaring them too much. Um, I need to go back through and read about the moon hag. Because there's clearly something about that with the lake, the moon hag. Maybe his wife is the moon hag? I'm not sure. Um, the ice king, the big frog knows the ice king's secret. I don't know, guys. There's still, there's still layers to unravel here. I'm really excited that we learned what we needed to from Tessa. And oh my God, I am, I am honestly reeling. I mean, I knew, I knew that the Mad Hunter was someone. It's really interesting to know that it's their father. Man. It can't be Sam. It can't be, because he was still around really frequently. If he wanted to get rid of that box, he could have he could have stolen it at any time, because he was in and out of that barn. I know that was my first thought when um because of the, the puzzle pieces that Tessa gave me of um married and um all of that sort of thing. Um Yeah. Man, I just Poor Allison, though. She's she's dealing with a lot. And I know she's trying really hard to be strong. But I also know that there's probably a lot more to what she's going to than meets the eye. Because I'm sure she holds a lot of guilt. I know she does. Hold a lot of guilt about the fact that Tyler got sent away. Tyler took the blame. But... But, you know, Allison was the one who stabbed their mom. Oh my God. Can you imagine? And also like the more, the more of these layers that we're unpacking, the more Allison must be feeling really, really crappy. Cause like I said, she was the one who stabbed their mom. And I know she died of drowning, but I doubt that makes Allison feel any better about what happened because now she's going, I killed my mom. And she wasn't even, I don't even, like, and she was going through all of this. And I'm not even, because again, I'm like 99% sure we're going to find out that she wasn't even threatening the kids. She was threatening the guy, the mad hunter, the father was back. And the kids in their fear thought that, especially Tyler, you know, coming down in this situation, like, and feeling like he was going to be not accepted. Um, is it, you know, they, they made, you know, they misinterpreted what was going on as children. And I can only imagine once we find this out, I'm sure Allison doesn't want us to find out the truth because every time we find out something new, it hurts her more. Like, I can't imagine being in her position. That would be truly, truly awful. Um... Like every, every, every new revelation they're finding out about their mom, I'm sure is another stab in the gut for her. No pun intended. No, no terrible dark pun intended. Man, I just, oh man. Oh wow, I didn't realize how many bits of licensed music they had in this. Um, hope I don't get in trouble. Whoops, a doodle. Taking a sip of my coffee now. It looks like we're actually gonna make it through the entirety of the credits because I've literally talked over the entirety of it. Wow, okay. Mm. 
Okay. So I have learned, I think I've learned the trick, which is when you're Allison, you pick Tyler's memories. When you're Tyler, you pick Allison's memories. So Tyler felt relieved, oh, relied on when Allison chose his memory at the house. That's great. Um, that was whether Marianne was angry or sad. Um, Allison felt heard about needing time when Allison refused the house showing. Well, I mean, honestly, that made sense. They weren't ready. There's still so many clues that we don't know about yet. Allison felt hopeful about becoming a family when Tyler forgave Eddie. That's great. 19% didn't forgive Evie. Uh, Eddie, that's interesting because I was kind of on the fence about that one. I... I, especially finding out about that drunk, it's because I'm an actor. And so like, I remember being a high school kid wanting to apply for drama school. Like if my mom had told me I didn't get into something and I did and like, didn't get to go, I would have been like betrayed forever. <laughs> she would never have done that. She's very lovely and supportive. I love my mother very much. Hello, mom. I don't know if she's watching. She probably isn't. <laughs> Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. That's good. I'm glad. Eddie, just be honest. Don't act, don't, for someone who's so all about honesty, you know, stop lying. Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. Yay. Oh, I ship him. Tessa felt grateful the twins kept them, kept her in their lives. I mean, I don't know. Again, this is one I was on the fence about. Uh, I, I don't know whether I made the right choice in forgiving these people because, you know, are they just going to do the same thing to me? Like, okay, interesting. Continue. Heck yes. <gasps> There's something else. Oh my God, guys. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? Wait, what's going on here? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Eee! I'm so excited! Let's Wait, go. There she finally found happiness. <sighs> Marianne just wanted them to be a family. Because honestly, we still haven't found this out yet, but I'm like 90% sure she comes from like an abusive household or something. And she wanted to create a family all of her own. Okay, little walking man. All right, guys. I think, I think this is time. I think this is where I'm going to end for today. Oh my God, I'm emotionally drained. I have so many questions, but like, I don't want to stop right now because I want to find out what happens next. Gosh, darn it. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun as I am because I am having a hell of a time. And um, I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Whoa. Ow. Bye. <laughs> Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache.